Okay, so my son and I are driving, and this is... I'm astonished. Two, three. Take your hands away. One, two, three. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hope everyone's having an excellent day. Let's get to the videos. Okay, so my son and I are driving, and this is what we see in the sky. Like, look at those colors. That is so bright. Like, there's nothing else around. I, I don't know where it came from, but it's so bright in colors. So cool. Of it is, I've never seen anything like that before. Give me your both fingers. Perfect. Can you see the shadow? Mm -hmm. The shadow of your hands, of my hands? Can you see the shadow? Okay, what is it? One, two, three. Take your hands away. One, two, three. <laughs> Whatever he doing, I'm not trying to mess with it. I've never seen a magic trick like that before when a shadow stick like that. This one item might just save your life. You'd probably want to save this advice. It's all completely based on this photo. This was taken by Mary Reed in 2016 during the infamous clown epidemic. She was actually home alone because her boyfriend had just run out to pick up takeout because they were going to spend the night at home watching movies. But while home alone, she caught this in the glass of her front door. Of course, she was startled at first, but she immediately assumed that this was her boyfriend who was in a costume just playing a joke. So she takes out her phone and she starts taking pictures of this, assuming it's her boyfriend. When her boyfriend suddenly calls her on the phone, she was confused and she answered, to which her boyfriend said that he had just pulled into the driveway and there was someone at the front door in a costume. He told her to run to the nearest room and lock the door. Her boyfriend leaped from his car from the driveway and luckily what he had with him was a taser pulse and he was able to strike this person from the back and get him to the ground. By the time police came, they realized the man had intentions to enter the home. Alright, so this is a story. I've never heard of a taser pulse before. And as far as the, the clown craze, I'm so glad that's not a thing now. That was very creepy back then. And I love it how everybody always thinks it's a prank. At first, I can understand why you would think that it'd be a prank. Like, who comes to somebody's door and do that? And those doors, that's one of the reasons why I don't even like having the doors where you can see uh see outside. I hate those doors. I want a peephole and that's it. Sorry, I confronted them possessed man up the job seen a dude tell him to leave or close him up he wouldn't leave so you know i tell people to leave all the time i walk up to this man and ask him like hey man i know you hear me talking to you you need to leave i walk around i look at his face and he has no eyes they're black i say hey man you do you dog uh, yeah yeah i went back to work well, mind you, this dude had no eyes. I'm telling you, look at this fool. Yeah, I'm good. Do your thing, bruh. I don't blame him at all. I would have said the same thing. It is not worth the risk for that job. Dude, oh my god. Be careful. It's hot in there. Yep, that's cool. Get a close up. So, do anybody have any idea what that is? If so, please let me know in the comments below. I took about six or seven steps, looked back, and it hadn't moved a millimeter still just there looking at me and i waited about a minute till it blinked again and i was like that was a blink that's not a rock but he was just really calm very curious and very confident he wasn't afraid of me at all and i believe that's the same guy that i'm having all these encounters with and doing all this stuff so that is some very high quality footage that's what i would expect from nowadays 
But you know, we'll say that's fake because they do look really like like human. But I feel like you lose either way when you record something that try to show evidence nowadays. You put a plant up to a radio tower, it will transmute a frequency or a sound wave through the plant. This is absolutely crazy. The sound is coming through the plant. Just watch the video. Are y'all seeing this? <laughs> this just goes to show you that radio sound waves can be transmitted through plants. I find that absolutely crazy that it didn't even need a speaker. Sound waves was emitted directly through the plant. But frequency waves can be transmitted through organic objects. And we learning something new every single day, ain't we? Now I'm curious. Y'all let me know what y'all think about organic matter transmuted radio frequencies in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. And stay tuned. This even freaked me out. So I was just watching this video on YouTube. Um, it was about the Euphrates River drying up. And a video of a guy that apparently found a cave uh, and he started to hear strange noises so he recorded it and my dog was sleeping in bed and as soon as I put it on she woke up and she um, she got freaked out pretty much and she still seems a little on edge check it out hear strange sounds coming from inside of it check this out Anytime you see your dog being concerned for something, you should be concerned too. Obviously, it's a video, but I am curious what that sound could be. My first thought was maybe it's the the earth plates moving that could make a sound like that, but I don't know. It sounds way too freaky. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you think that could be. The challenge was to place a camera in the river of death where many people have lost their lives. Whatever it is, it's super terrified to see whatever life form it is coming out of the water like that and all the smoke. I, I don't know. That's regardless. It's terrifying. I wouldn't want to be near that. Creepy things found in people's houses. Found under a carpet.
found in the storage room. Found in a basement. Found in an attic. Found under a carpet. Found in an attic. Found in the storage room. Found in a drawer. Found in the wall. Videos that cannot be explained. So I'm on a pier, I'm in Miami, near Sunny Isles. I see some weird shit. I want somebody to help me. I'm gonna show you some comparisons, right? It's a yacht right there, you see. That's a sailboat right there, as you can see. Scan over here real quick. That is a cargo ship right there that you can see. Somebody on a jet ski. What the fuck is that? I come out here all the time. I know what cargo ships look like. That's one right there. This one seems like it's further out behind it. It looks like a fucking city. It actually do look like it'd be a city. Maybe it's an illusion or a mirage. I'm not sure, but yeah, I definitely look like that's like the next city or the next group part of land or something. But if he don't see it all the time, then yeah, that would be concerning. But he didn't see that though, so. What is that shit? What on earth did you find? Well, I'll tell you. Whoa, it's a shaft. Look at that thing in all its glory. Is that a well <laughs> or a I'm shaft? Gonna I'm gonna drop a stick down it. It's pretty funny. It almost looks like there's a tunnel down there. A rope. Hopefully it's a mine shaft and not a well. Whew, this is scary, man. <laughs> All right, going down. This is scary. Okay, yeah, it's definitely just a shaft. Judging by this equipment in here, I don't think it was a well. I think it led to the shaft. But now it's all underwater. But now it's underwater, yeah. This video will make you never want to set foot in a wooded area ever again. Much less one in the Appalachian Mountains, because that's where this took place. So I'm scrolling on TikTok and I come across a haunting video. Someone is outside of the woods and they see something walking in the woods, I'm assuming. So they start recording and when they zoom in, just watch. Hey, what are you doing over there? Y'all, what is that? It's, its arms are down to its feet. I hate it. I understand stuff like this is semi-easy to make, but that just doesn't look fake to me. I don't know. It doesn't look fake to me. It scared me. I don't like it. I was already scared of the woods from what I've experienced. I'm good. I'm good. I'm so terrified. <laughs> what was that? Why did it look like that? <laughs> It's getting weird. Pardon, Infinity. All right, everybody, quiet on the set. Everybody back to one. 
Pictures up. Rolling sound. And action. Welcome to the 2024 presidential debate. Let's get started wasting people's time that they'll never get back. Trump, we'll start with you. Like I was saying, I'm the greatest president to ever live on the face of this earth. And not just the earth, the galaxy of all together. Unlike my opponent here who has to drink prune juice to drop a deuce. Cut! Biden. Biden. <laughs> You were sleeping with your eyes open again. What's going on, man? Sorry, I was I was thinking about pudding pops. They're so good. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, come on, man, please. Listen, we knew you were old, but fuck. Okay, here we go. Pictures up. Sound speed. Action. The economy's doing better. Inflation doesn't exist. My opponent here said that he was the best in the best. I don't believe it. Now, on a side mission note... Abortion is immigration, and immigration is abortion. They both abort and immigrate at the same time. <laughs> what the fuck? Cut! What was that? Oh, I was just improvising. It's what I do best. It's literally not. Your resume says, horrible at improvisation. Stick to the script! Okay, you know what? You, maybe you just woke up. And you're a little slow, I understand. All right, moving on. Picture up. Sound. I just want to say and elaborate more on abortion. All abortion is bad. Me and my party, we hate abortion altogether. It's just horrible, even the state level. But we gave it back to the state, so it's okay. But I will allow emergency abortion because that's okay. We got to do what we got to do. We got to win the election. We just got to win. We just got to win. <laughs> God damn it, cut! Trump, are you, are you, are you having trouble breathing? What's going on? Huh? Stick to the script. You're the asshole. Be the asshole. Abortion is horrible, period. Okay? He's off script. I don't want you to be off script, too. Come on! You fucking tangerine. All right. Let's get it back. Picture up. Sound. Action. <laughs> the military doesn't even like this guy. He said the military was stupid. Well, my son is part of the military, and he's not stupid. You're stupid, you burnt orange. <laughs> Cut! No, listen, that was, that was a good cut. It was a good cut. Hey, I think the blue chew's kicking in. He was feisty on that one. <laughs> All right, good. Keep it up, keep it up. Pictures up, sound. All right, let's get back to it. Action. Yeah, and uh, 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 <coughs> I'm a better golfer than he is. Joe must have been to take his medication because I'm the better golfer. I'm one of the greatest golfers that's ever played on this earth. <sighs> oh, yeah? Well, as my black constituents would say, Negro, please. <laughs> well, Joe, on the golf course, they call me the Orange Tiger Woods. Oh, yeah? Then carry your own bag. How about that? Stop sniffing kids, Joseph. Then I'll carry my own bag. Mm -hmm. Why don't you lay out the sexual innuendo with your daughter? Then I'll stop sniffing kids. Wait. And cut, cut, cut. All right, guys. All right. Enough. Relax. What is this, a Kendrick Lamar song? <laughs> I think we got what we needed. All right, everybody. That's a wrap. Trump, thank you for coming. We appreciate you for, you know, doing whatever it is you do. Um, security, make sure you watch him, though. We don't want anything stolen on set. We know he's a felon. Biden, thank you for being here as much as you could be. Um, hope you enjoy those pudding pops. <laughs> My fucking fell asleep. Uh, Jill, Kamala, get your mans. My fucking older than dirt. <laughs> I'm just hoping next election we have somebody who's actually, like, I don't know, under 50. They actually represent the current generations, Generation X and younger. Like I know boomers are still around, but I mean, these people, these candidates are just too old. And everybody acting like Biden is actually where is crazy. He's like 70 something years old. I'm not surprised he would walk around doing that. And they probably didn't want to put him on no stimulants because that would have really made it obvious. So I don't know. It was, I just thought it was a joke altogether. I always feel like somebody above all this controlling everything. He came down here. We went to the beach and yeah. he summoned these orbs from the beach. I, I wow. watched this shit come out of the ocean. Wow. That's incredible. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. His name's Chris Bledsoe. He has these crazy experiences where he sees orbs all mm. the time. Mm. Like he goes out into his backyard. Yep. He has these orbs that follow him and he films them.
He posts them on Instagram. Wow. And nobody knows what they are. Wow. He believes it's spiritual. He believes they're angels. Mm -hmm. The craziest thing about it is that there's all these people from NASA, CIA, and the Pentagon that started showing up at his house and talking to him and interviewing him. One guy, his name was Hal Pavenmeyer, showed up at his house one day and said, hey, uh, is Chris Bledsoe home? I just wanted to hope, hope to talk to him for a little bit. And his son answered the door and sat there and interviewed him and his family for hours and kept coming back over the, like a couple times a year to ask him questions. And he was trying to confirm if the guy's story was full of shit or not. Started yeah. interviewing people around him, family members, friends, other people who claimed to be witnesses of his event. Long story short, this guy becomes like close friends to the family. Mm. And this guy, Hal, turns out he was the guy who was in charge of mapping the moon for the Apollo missions. Mm. I guess one day they were having dinner and he's like, he asked him, he's like, how? He's like, what's the craziest thing that you could tell me about the moon? He, he asked him about like the dark side of the moon. Like, yeah. is there stuff on the dark side of the moon? And yeah. he goes, there are structures that are ancient. Yeah. Let's talk about one of the creepiest Mexican videos on the internet right now. The Payaso de Toledo video. But before I show you a bit of this absolutely terrifying video, let's break it down a little bit. On June 24th, user El Payaso de Toledo would upload this video and go absolutely viral, getting 16 million views in six days. And in the video, you see him and his crew exploring La Casa del Diablo, which I think is located in Rosarito, Mexico, when suddenly they start to hear a strange voice calling out for help. And then they see this. I'm gonna show you a little clip, here it is. Payaso, esa persona no está bien, es, es, eres vivo, eres persona, porque no contesta. No, no, o sea, si, un, si tiene una y la otra no. Mira, mira, fíjate que no tiene una más. La otra sí la tiene, pero la otra no. ¿Ya viste? Mira, o sea, tiene sangre. Trae líquido rojo. Trae líquido rojo. Ay, Dios mío. No, espérate, pedazo, ¿por qué? Pudiera hacer una trampa y, y traemos a la di, traemos a la diva, payaso. Mira, no, 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 eso no es algo bueno, eh. Eso no es algo Ay, mira, mira, trae líquido rojo. ¿Eh? Trae líquido rojo. Hijo de su madre. Eso no es algo bueno, gente. Oye, ayúdenme, por favor. Vamos a acercarnos. A ver, vamos a ver, vamos a acercarnos, vamos a acercarnos, güey. Pero no te escapaste, ¿de qué seguro que te escapaste? ¿De qué hospital te escapaste? Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, a ver. A ver, vamos, amigos. Oh, no, mames, no, mames, no, mames, no, mames, no, mames, no, 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 Espérate, 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 espérate. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Although a lot of people found this terrifying, a lot of people also found it kind of silly, saying that it sounds like Frieza, or saying that it sounds like the dude, the Roar Kid. But listen, you can't deny that if you saw this yourself, you wouldn't be terrified. But I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I did giggle. What do you guys think? Is this real? Is this fake? Let me know. Let me I think it's fake, personally. I think it's just a skinny, short, either a kid or a really short person in a suit. I would believe it more if it was more zoomed in and actually showed something because I just see a person in a suit personally. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is real or do you think this is just some made up stuff? We know. Thought to be a drunk roommate coming home and stumbling around turned out to be something much more terrifying. The clip starts off with the cautious man recording a huge and hungry predator walking around his living room. We have a bear inside of our house right now. We have a bear inside of our house. Holy 
A few seconds after he started recording, the bear notices him recording from the stairs, leaving it with no choice but to run after him. As the bear makes its way upstairs, he runs to his room and looks back one last time, only to see this. Oh God, wait, wait. After reaching his room, he talks with his scared roommate, who tells him that the predator went back downstairs. Unfortunately, the clip ends abruptly, and what happens next remains unknown. Andrew Peterson, who's riding in a car with some friends at night, and they soon notice a clown standing in the road. Okay, what Wait, the fuck? What? No, this is oh, not fucking happening. Dude, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? What the 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 driver gets out of the vehicle and knocks the clown over before driving off. Shortly after, they agree that they need to drive back to see if the person is okay. The clown begins running at the vehicle and nearly avoids being hit while somehow grabbing onto the back of the car. Oh shit! He's running right after us! Hit him! Hit that bitch! Hit that! Camp. Fred Eichler. I don't know how how he reacted. That is so creepy. Regardless of the scenario, it's creepy. That 2016 time was insane. People walking around being a clown, but I also think it was kind of dumb too. Like, so you sitting there for hours on the highway, next to a highway, waiting for somebody to come just to scare him. You got a lot of time on your hands. And company came across three bear cubs and one angry mother bear. At the start of the video, Fred's team can be seen riding the river when they come across three bear cubs. While moving forward, they unfortunately come too close to the cubs, which angered someone else previously hidden in the thick bushes. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. Thankfully, the large mother bear got scared of the shot and ran away from them. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, the bear did run away because the villa kept going. I think that guy might have been might have been finished. Bob Ross could actually be a serial killer. As we all know, Bob Ross is a world famous painter who is known for his gentle and calm demeanor when he paints. But many people theorize that Bob Ross might not be as innocent as he seems. Many people believe that Bob Ross has a dark side that he tries to hide with his calm and innocent personality that he portrays. Many people believe this because some of the landscapes that Bob Ross paints are oddly familiar to crime scenes where dead bodies have been found. Like, for example, there's a painting that Bob Ross named Happy Little Accidents. The painting coincidentally matches up to where authorities found five female bodies that were half-eaten and deceased. And there have been more instances of this like a painting that Bob Ross named Betrayal and another one that he named Greed. Both of these paintings look identical to crime scenes where dead bodies have been found with missing limbs. And due to all the evidence, many people speculate that Bob Ross was a serial killer that painted the locations of where he buried his victims. But what do you think? Was Bob Ross a serial killer? I like to think not. I would say leave Bob alone. But if Aiden's information is true, I have to do some research on this after I finish making this video to find out because I'm very interested in knowing if any of this match up. I'm drawing, making paintings of places where he potentially killed someone because let's be real, most of the places he drew were in the woods with cabins and stuff. And all the stuff this person is saying is a similar situation the person got murdered or whatever, but a, a cabin and most cabins kind of look pretty similar, so oh, I'll definitely have to look into it, though. But it is fascinating, though. Press share, click on more, and click Google Maps to see where the crime scene is. So there has been another Yorona sighting, and I have the photo to prove it. But first, a quick little backstory. The person who submitted this wishes to remain anonymous, so we're going to call her April. 
one other thing. This story took place in Indiana and it was not that long ago. On this particular day, it had rained all day. At about 9 p.m., the rain finally stopped, so April, her husband and daughter, decided to go out for a walk. They ended up walking down towards this lake that has a beautiful fountain and lights up at night. They also have benches right around it, so they decided to sit down and just enjoy the scenery. Not long after they sat down, they heard a woman scream. April can't describe it, but she is sure that no animal would make this sound. It sounded like a woman screaming. The screaming was coming towards the lake, but when they looked over there, they couldn't see anything. April then asked her husband if he heard it. He says he didn't hear it. It was just April and her daughter who heard it. At this point, April started to feel like she wasn't welcome, like this feeling of dread came over her. They decided to snap a couple pictures because the lake was gorgeous and they were really enjoying their time until this whole screaming thing started. It wasn't until they got home that they looked at the photos and saw it. Now this is the first photo that they took of the lake. You can see the whole outline of the lake, the fountain, the lights, it's gorgeous. Now this is the photo with her daughter in it. I want you to focus up into that corner. I'm going to show you guys a close up there you can clearly see something white standing there that wasn't there before now here's the before and here's the after what do you guys think you guys there's a giant fucking woodpecker right there look at how big it is it's a woodpecker oh my god they've been hiding this from us have you ever wondered why many ancient civilizations are shaped extremely similar to the motherboard of a computer and why so many old cities and places mysteriously burned down in fires. This is because the world before us was full of advanced technologies far more powerful than anything we have today. The ancient civilizations were created in a specific manner to farm energy from the atmosphere to power their society. These ancient civilizations had extremely esoteric information about the earth. This information was passed down and evolved into the Tartarian Empire. They had advanced architecture that was able to harness the atmospheric energy for each building. This made energy practically free for everyone. When the elites across the world discovered how they could control countries by limiting their energy supply, they waged war on Tartarian technology and destroyed and burned it all. They began selling oil to countries so they could completely control them. They did everything in their power to erase true history and keep us in the dark. Our history is so much different than we have been taught, and we are so much more powerful than they allow us to. I do believe history is definitely different than what they taught us, but the uh, advanced energy and all that, I wish that was true. We would never know, but all I'm hearing is a bunch of, trust me, bro. I wish this person showed some type of evidence or anything. It's fascinating to talk about, but that's as far as it goes. <laughs> In this video, you can see a young man who appears intoxicated, smashing his body into the home wall, groaning loudly along with the loud body slamming. I'm astonished that no one in the home was awakened by it. He then throws himself back onto the balcony and stays there, moving his hands around in an attempt to get up. The residents claim they have never met this man, and we have no idea what his objectives were. Of a do drugs, they're not worth doing, but that is some creepy, unhinged stuff, man. We need to talk. How many people have seen this on their FYP? It's an update in regards to the missing TikToker who brought us the viral videos of the potentially new fault line that has arisen in Wyoming. And why this is so alarming is it's only 100 miles away from Yellowstone, which we know is a super volcano. Well, I got some things to show you for entertainment value, of course, because I know absolutely nothing. And I'm just making this stuff up. Now, I'm not going to touch on the missing person aspect of that video because people go missing for a lot of different reasons. But if you want to follow along with that situation, it's going on right now, so just search it. It's not hard to find. Now that crack that's featured in that video is in Wyoming. Now let me refresh your memory on something else that happened recently in Wyoming. In a shocking turn of events, Wyoming's Teton Pass Road, a crucial artery for the local community and tourists alike, has suffered a catastrophic collapse. This isn't just a small crack in the pavement we're talking about. A significant portion of the road at milepost 12.8 has completely given way following a landslide. Now All right, now let me give you an idea 
of why all these things could be happening. See, the topsoil in Wyoming has been mined for a long time now because of a thing called Benonite. Matter of fact, Wyoming holds 70% of the world's supply of Benonite, something they also call magic mud. And they call it magic or miracle mud because it's in everything. They use it for crayons, medications, cosmetics, lipstick. The list goes on and on. Oh, and fun facts. Did you know Wyoming has a history of underground tunnels? Some people say they're haunted. And some of these tunnels have been around since the 1800s. But anyway, back to the mining. See, in 2013, a certain discovery was made in Wyoming that was pretty significant. I mean, 500 billion, it's a lot of zeros. And I'm sure most people have a pretty good understanding of all the uses for the, uh, the big L. And I'm sure most people know the value of it as well. Now, to me, already, that's enough money involved to try to keep quiet what you're doing to the earth in Wyoming. But we're just getting started. See, why they were drilling for the Big L, a certain discovery of rare earth metals could put the United States at the leaders of the world. I mean, they're already estimating that they found two and a half billion metric tons of rare earth minerals. We're talking being able to supply the entire EV market. Military drones, missiles, pretty much anything that has a computer chip in it. I mean, I couldn't understand why they'd want to keep somebody quiet about what was going on in this area. Can you? But my question is, how long can we keep digging into the ground and mining before we start messing with the natural order of things? I mean, it's not like there's a super volcano right next door or anything. Or that we're doing this same thing across the world. Y'all stay safe. I know about China taking a really, really deep hole again. And this is concern. I never knew any of this was going on in Wyoming. I've only been to Wyoming once, and it was beautiful. It's a shame they sitting there doing all that mining. I never heard of some of these materials before. So that's just crazy. I, I wouldn't be surprised they will be covering up so they can just keep digging. They don't care if the super volcano got activated. If that super volcano got activated, GG's, this is over.